Having trouble passing in Madden 24? No! Then you need to learn how to read the defense. Whether running or passing, reading the defense will give you an advantage on every single play. So if you want to learn how to do this and take your game to the next level, stick around after the intro. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Mic check. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing the Mad Cheese as always. Got a video today on how to read and beat Woo! every single defense in the game. This is a video that I've been putting out every year for like the last four or five Maddens. And every year it gets over 100,000 views. So I try to get it out as early as possible because clearly there's a lot of people out there that need help. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to read every single defense pre-snap. And then once you read the defense, I'm going to show you guys some concepts to beat those defenses as well. Whether it's running or passing. I'm not just going to show you pass plays. I'm going to show you run plays and pass plays that will beat these defenses consistently and not one play touchdowns either i have plenty of videos showing that as well as my ebook so if you guys want more help after this video you guys can check that out links in the description below and top pin comment all you have to do is click the links and you can download them instantly to your phone or laptop or whatever you're watching this on but i highly recommend them because they will take your game to another level now i'm going to try to stay in one formation and one play this entire video because i really want to show you how you can beat defenses with adjustments so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick the gun tight open and i'm going to pick a simple bench concept because this is something you should be able to find just about every single playbook in the game and any bench concept should work so let's go ahead and let's pick that on the defensive side i'm gonna start off with cover two i'm gonna work my way back to cover three cover four and man coverages but let's start off with tampa two first now the reason that i chose this particular formation is because uh, there are some differences based off of how your receivers are aligned that can really change how the cornerbacks react to read a defense all you really have to do is look at the cornerbacks every single time the cornerbacks are going to give away the defense but that can change based off of what offensive formation you're in i'll show you what i'm talking about since i'm in a, a formation where i have two receivers on each side it's going to look different than if i'm in a formation where there's no receivers on one side when there's two tight ends on that side like the wing slot offset so let's go and let's pick that i'm going to pick cover two again and you'll notice on this play because there's no receivers split out wide on this side that there's a difference in the cornerback's depth to read cover two, it's very simple. To read the cover two defense, it's the only defense in the game where the cornerbacks start five yards off the line of scrimmage. I'm at the 50 yard line exactly. He's exactly five yards off. That's a clear cover two. But if you look on the other side where there's no receiver, the cornerback is in closer because tight ends don't get the same look. They don't get the same respect. They don't have the same speed. They don't beat defenses vertically the same way. So typically cornerbacks will start to play a little bit closer to them. If I motion this receiver across and now he's split out wide, you can see the cornerback changes, goes right back to the five yard split so that's something to keep in mind you're always looking at the cornerbacks to read defenses but certain offensive formations can change how the corners react so i just want to go over that first so now that we know that cover two cornerbacks are five yards off the line of scrimmage let's go let's go back to our bench concept and let's pick the next defense which is cover three cover three is a little bit different when it comes to the cornerback depth as you can see now cover three cornerbacks start about eight yards off the line of scrimmage which hasn't changed in years so if you've seen this video in the past you probably heard this already but basically the cornerbacks in cover three and cover four and cover four match and even man coverages will all be eight yards off the line of scrimmage. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how can I tell if all these defenses have the same cornerbacks eight yards off the line of scrimmage? How can I tell what the coverage is between them? And the next step for that is really simple. There's two different ways to do it. You can look at the cornerbacks once again, but you can also look at the safeties. Now in this particular play, we have one single high safety. That immediately eliminates cover two. It immediately eliminates cover four, cover four match. All those defenses are out the window. Cover two man, all that. So now that I eliminated several defenses, as possibilities the next thing to look at is the cornerbacks once again on this particular play the cornerbacks are not man aligned they're shaded to the outside which is typical of cover three man alignment means that they're right in front of their receiver which if i motion this receiver out he will do because basically i'm to the boundary now so there's no real outside shade or outside uh, leverage for the cornerback but the reason that cornerbacks do this in cover three is because their job isn't a specific receiver it's a specific area but that's really their job their job is to control an area not a player so they're going to start kind of cheating in that direction now i'm going to go ahead i'm going to skip ahead to a cover one hole just to show you the difference in look now when it comes to the differences between cover one and cover three the differences are very subtle but a lot of times the uh, cornerbacks outside will be aligned 
a little bit better and a little bit closer so that's probably one of the hardest differences to tell which is why cover three and cover one man uh, schemes are so popular is because they're meant to look alike and they're really hard to tell the difference if you really can't tell the difference you could always make a motion pre-snap and that's really going to give away whether it's a man or zone and now that i have uh, this defender following me everywhere I go. I know that it's a cover one man and I can make my adjustments next up We already went over cover two. We didn't go over cover two man So let's go ahead and let's pick this one here now once again We have what looks like a five yards off the line of scrimmage type of defense Which is indicative of both cover two man and zone But typically I mean, we, can go, we can do the same thing we did when it comes to man coverage We can motion a guy across and if he follows you know it's a man coverage But at the same time when it comes to cover two, this is a press heavy defense These cornerbacks have to press the receivers to be effective so in that scenario, you're typically going to see them even closer. And once again, man aligned, as you can see in front of the A receiver and in front of the Y receiver, they're down much closer to the box because they want to get their hands on these on these receivers and try to reroute them in the direction that they want to go. We got one more man coverage to do. Let's go and let's pick that. This one's probably the easiest in the man zero blitz. When you see a man zero blitz, this one here, you're going to see obvious man matching principles. And that's exactly what we have here. The safeties, for one, are much closer to the line of scrimmage because their job's now the the corner routes the a route and the y route so they have to be in a better position you should be able to see a safety that looks in zone where they start to play further back or play like this where they start to play closer because they're in a man matching set next up we're going to choose that same play only this time we're going to do cover four on defense let's go ahead and let's pick cover four drop contain and then i'll show you guys cover four match this is your typical base defense in a cover four shell you have your cornerbacks at eight yards off your safeties are splitting the field evenly you can see that they're close enough that um, you know they're not out wide. If they're out wider, you would know it's like more of a cover two look because they have to cover more of the field. But since they're really covering like right towards the middle, they don't really have to worry about getting out too wide because they're basically just going to drop straight back. You can see how the safeties are not aligned in front of the um, the slot receivers, which is probably going to be your biggest tell when I switch over to cover four mat. So keep an eye on that because they are not parallel because it's not their personal responsibility to cover those slot receivers. They're supposed to cover anything in their area and not let anything get behind them. But if I switch over to cover four match, which is more of a uh, man zone type of concept. Let's go and let's pick that. Now when I come out and cover for match, you can see the safeties are aligned with the slot receiver and the tight end because this particular style of defense is a little bit more of a matching coverage where they kind of act more like man coverages than zones, which is to say that if any receiver comes into their area, they're going to cover it a lot tighter. Their job isn't just to let not make sure nothing gets behind them. Their job is to cover these receivers a lot closer. So that's why they're starting to play closer to the line of scrimmage and aligned in front of the Y and A uh, receivers because they basically, it's the same thing as man principles. They don't want to give inside or outside leverage because that'll get them beat easily. So they're aligned in front of them a little bit better, which is probably the best way to tell the difference between cover for match and cover for regular. Now there are some odd coverages like cover six and you know, cover two inverts and stuff like that. Cover six is a, a hybrid defense cover through cloud. There are easy ways to tell the difference between these type of defenses. And that's once again, looking at the corners. So let's go and let's pick cover six to use as an example. And you'll see once again, we have offset corners. I talked about earlier how the offensive formation can change cornerback depth. But when it comes to a receiver on both sides of the field, if you see cornerbacks at different depth, it means it's, a, it's an off coverage where there are two different coverages on each side. So on the left side here, we got a cornerback who's eight, eight yards off the line of scrimmage. And on the other side, we have a cornerback who's five yards off. So if I split the field in half, I know the cornerback on the five yard side is going to be a cover two and the cornerback on the other side is going to be a cover four because there really aren't a lot of other defenses in the game that do that so now that i went over all the different types of coverages i'm going to go defense by defense here and show you guys adjustments and hot routes that you can make to basically beat these defenses any single time starting off with tampa two with tampa two we can do something that honestly we can do it with any single defense in the game and that's all you really got to do is put one of these outside receivers on a streak and the corner routes will basically get open now cover two typically needs somebody to pull down the cornerback or the cornerback will just keep going back as you can see right there he actually the, the tight end actually followed uh, you need something to pull that guy down so one of the better ways to go I mean you can motion across one of these receivers and put him on a flat route if you don't want to make that motion and you still want to draw that cornerback down you could leave him where he is and just put somebody on a drag which might take a little bit longer but once he gets across the field he's going to pull down that cornerback's attention and this is going to make a play like this to cover two a lot easier as I'm just waiting for this Y route here to get open over the top and this trick is something that you can use against any defense any zone defense in the game so I'm going to pick cover 
three now before I go back to cover two and show you guys a couple more things. Cover three is the exact same way. I don't need a route underneath to draw the cornerback back because the streak is going to draw the cornerback back. Basically, anytime you put a streak and you have a receiver underneath it like this in any zone coverage, cover three, cover four, doesn't matter. He's going to get open outside underneath that. That's just how the game is programmed. The out route is going to have a lot of success against cover three so especially at a 10 yard depth that's really the, the main difference and if i streak the a right here just to pull that guy back that'll help out even more but you can see how once i get into the break a, a 10 yard out route is going to beat any zone coverage that the cornerbacks drop back whether it's cover three cover four cover four quarters it's going to be the same either way any route to the running back really should get open underneath for a catch and run pretty consistently because this is a defense that prioritizes covering deep another really good option though is the seams so basically if i motion this guy out to spread this defense out once again put both of my receivers on streaks i really can throw this to either y or the a route because that's really going to be another uh, soft spot in the zone is between the space where the safety is and the cornerback plays and cover four is basically the exact same way when it comes to cover four regular it's going to be the same thing you're going to be able to hit this out route and you're going to be able to hit this running back underneath all day long the only thing that's different now is the streaks up the seams because there are no seams so basically you're going to attack this to the outside with this b route once again the running back was wide open there once again all those routes are going to work the same because the cornerbacks on the outside follow the same principle now that I went over how to beat those zones in passing, there's also several weaknesses when it comes to run plays. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go under center here, I'm going to pick the halfback stretch, and I'm also going to use the halfback zone weak. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pick these plays, and then on defense, we're just going to go random, because I'll pick this out as we go. Now, on this play here, reading this defense, I mean, aside from the fact that we have huge holes in the middle, I can see that the cornerbacks are off. So that's indicative of a cover three or a cover four, probably a man coverage because you can kind of see some man aligning going on here. Anytime you have that, whether it's, you know, any cover three, any cover four where the cornerbacks drop back post snap, you can basically just hit them with a, with a stretch. Stretch runs to the outside because the cornerbacks drop back. You can see here, it looks like they man match, but they still have to wait. So they're going to be vulnerable outside. Now, if they're five yards off like it is here, inside runs are going to be the way because the outside is going to be maintained better based off the fact that it could, they could be in hard flats. They could fight to get down to the line of scrimmage and basically cut off those outside runs. But the safeties won't. The safeties drop back post snap every single time, whether it's run or pass. Their job is to you know cover half the field, so they're not going to take any chances. They're just going to drop back and try to take that away, which makes this defense really weak up the middle because the safeties are so far away by the time you get there. You can get 5, 10 yards easy before the safeties even have a play on you. We still have man coverages to do, and all man coverages are pretty much going to act the exact same way so i'm going to go right back to the bench and we're just going to pick i'll just pick uh you know man zero and man cover one are probably the most popular so we'll go ahead and pick man cover one these out routes will have success as long as you throw it in the break i mean obviously we have some great cornerbacks here in dallas so that's not the best route i would say the best routes in your adjustments when it comes to beating man coverage is going to be things like slants drags and zigs all of which are going to be in your hot route adjustment zig is probably the best so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more tip videos like this i'm going to be putting out more throughout the year so make sure to be a subscriber and if you want to see more about how to pass i did put out a passing tips video a couple days ago i'll have that popping up on screen so if you want more help just click the links as i'm sure to help with your game and that's it thanks for watching man money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more Link in the description below.